Uh, it's no surprise that she's a US presidential scholar. She actually came from the beach here, not from here to the beach, from the beach here to accept this proclamation and be honored today in front of the council. So I want to thank Emily uh, for coming here. That is tremendous for a young woman to do that, let me just tell you. And I apologize for us interrupting, so we'll be very quick so we can get you back to enjoy your well-deserved vacation at the beach. Um, along with her uh, is, of course, uh, her uh, teacher, uh, Susan Leckie. And all, we also have, uh, unfortunately, Patrick couldn't be with us, but we have David Lopolato. Uh, from BCC, and Emily's a student at Richard Montgomery, uh, Go Rockets. Uh, and so what I want to do is uh, just acknowledge the great work and tell you a little bit, of, very briefly, about uh, the United States Presidential Scholars Program, because a lot of times we focus on academia, and that's so important, uh, but it actually looks for a well-rounded student, uh, a person who excels in the arts, a person who excels socially and has uh, community involvement and engagement all the things that we look for in a well-rounded person. And so you're setting a shining example. You know, it was interesting, I was having a conversation with my daughter as she was studying for her algebra finals uh, that she's taking right now as we speak. And I said, you know, the, as she was talking about her service hours, uh, the things that you do and the lives that you touch beyond just your academic dedication matter so much and makes such a difference. And so thank you for being such a great shining example and a role model for many students throughout MCPS to aspire to accomplish. Because, I mean, this is great. You're talking about, just, just to give you an understanding, there are only 141 students that receive this nationwide. 141. One of those 141 students nationwide is standing right here before us. And so she deserves a tremendous amount of accolades for her great work. So without embarrassing you anymore, Emily, um, I hear it from my daughter enough, so I know it's like enough. Uh, I, I want to read this proclamation and then give you a chance to say a few words. Uh, it says, whereas the United States Presidential Scholars Program was enacted in 1964 by executive order of the president to recognize the nation's most distinguished graduating seniors, and whereas more than 4,300 seniors nationwide qualified for the 2015 awards based on their SAT and ACT scores and on nominations made by national organizations, only 141 students were named U.S. Presidential Scholars. And whereas Emily Yang of Richard Montgomery High School in Rockville was one of only two Montgomery County uh, public school students and one of only two in the state of Maryland chosen for recognition in this highly selective program, and whereas Emily is energetic and enthusiastic, she's active in student government, captain of her debate, forensic, and wiki team? Wei Chi, I'm sorry, I knew I was gonna get it wrong. Wei Chi teams in which they set the best new records for school all while keeping her 3.98 GPA. And whereas when asked to choose her most influential teacher, Emily selected Susan Leckie, an English teacher at Richard Montgomery, who also takes great pride in Emily's honor. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the County Council of Montgomery County, Maryland, hereby recognizes Emily Yang for her outstanding academic achievements as a student of the Montgomery County Public School System and for being honored by the U.S. Presidential Scholars Program for her leadership, scholarship, and contributions to her school and our community. And it's presented this ninth day of June in the year 2015, signed by our council president, George Leventhal. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Councilmember Rice, and thank you, Ms. Taylor. And most importantly, thank you, Ms. Leckie. This has been a wonderful two years knowing you. And I just really appreciate this chance to recognize Ms. Leckie because even though I'm supposed to be like this big student or something, Miss Lucky has done so much. She's one of those teachers who can not only make you feel like you're an excellent student and that she's an excellent teacher, but that this class, that this education is just so meaningful because in English, some people say, oh, it's like literature, it's not real, but Miss Lucky has taught us to be so analytical, to really appreciate each other's thoughts. We have so much discussion in that class, and she always makes us feel like anyone can raise their hand and say something. So thank you so much, Miss Lucky. Thank you, everyone. Well, congratulations, and unfortunately, Patrick couldn't be with us. He couldn't get pulled away from the beach. 
<laughs> but um, no, 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 I know. He's, but, but what I did want to do is present this uh, to uh, Mr. Lapalato, who is uh, David's teacher. Uh, again, enough can't be said as the son of a teacher about the influence of teacher and students' lives and what they really mean uh, to our young people as they grow up and become uh, their own individuals. Uh, and you certainly help to shape them into the great people that they are. And so, you know, we want to thank you as well. So I'm going to present this to David uh, because Patrick's not here. And so, thank you. Very much. Thank you.